today we are going to talk about uh, group items specifically in QuickBooks Point of Sale and also why would you use a group item instead of an assembly item. So first let's talk about assembly items. That's actually going to be the topic of a different video, how to do it, uh, but let's tell you the difference. Now let's say you are a scooter shop and you order all the parts to build a scooter. Uh, so you fill out purchase orders and you receive uh, your shipments of scooter parts. And then you got a guy in the back and he puts together the scooter. And then what you sell in the front is actually the assembled scooter. In that case, you would use an assembly item. And that's because you are receiving a bunch of pieces and you're putting them together and assembling them. And you are selling them all as one. Uh, when the assembly happens, that's when it takes all the pieces, the different pieces, out of your uh, inventory and creates one piece of inventory out of them, and then you sell that. That would be an assembly item. What we're going to talk about today is a group item, and the group item comes into play when you might have three or four or however many different uh, inventory items, and you might sell all those items separately or you might bundle them all together and sell them as one group. And maybe that selling them as one group, maybe the person uh, gets a better price that way or something. Uh, you'll see as we unfold this how it's going to work. I'm going to head over to my item list. I'm in practice mode here. So we've got your handy dandy sports store. And uh, a little bit ago, I just created a service item called uh, football coaching, one hour of football coaching uh, for $48 here. And then, of course, in the store here, uh, we also have uh, footballs that we sell somewhere here. Yeah, football. Oh, we've got shoulder pads. And then we got, you know, all the different things that use for football. So let's create a group item. Uh, even though our store sells all these things separately, we're going to make a special bundle package uh, called the group item there. So I'm going to hit the add on my inventory list. And I'm going to say uh, football uh, season bundle. So we're going to call this like pretty much everything you need to get your little tag there started in football. I'm going to create this as a group item. I'm going to put it in the mm, football equipment department. Uh, it's not going to have a vendor because it's not really coming from somebody. I'm not ordering it. And uh, you can leave pretty much everything blank here and and uh, we'll adjust some stuff later. So you go ahead and save your football season bundle, which once again is the type of group. It's not inventory. It's not non-inventory. It's not a service. It is a group. So uh, the weird part on this is you don't actually create the group inside this edit dialog. I don't know why it's like this, but uh, you actually save. And so it shows up here on your item list. And then with the details window on the right hand side here, if you don't have that, you're going to hit show details. Then you click this group button. Now that brings up this screen. The screen would list your group items. However, we don't have any yet, so we're going to hit Edit Group in the bottom right-hand corner here. Now, we've finally made it to the screen where we can add items to our group. So I'm going to go ahead and type in foot, and I'm going to choose football because your little tag there needs a football. Okay, type it again. We're going to add... Uh, let's say four hours of football coaching. So you can quantity up if you want a uh, number of items. Uh, what else? We had uh, shoulder pads, I think. Let's add those shoulder pads, keep them safe. And how about some cleats? Uh, I do realize that all these cleats are different sizes, but uh, let's just pretend that this is just your any old size cleat. So there we have football, we got four hours of coaching, we got shoulder pads, and we got cleats. You have everything for your new star football player to make it to the big leagues. 
Now over here it's going to tell me uh, what this has all added together. These regular prices here are all going to add to the regular price of 332. Uh, so a person can walk around your store and put all these things together themselves, but you have a special bundle package. So you're probably, I'm going to guess, uh, make it sweet, sweeten the deal for them. Let's sell it to them for 300 because they're buying more product. They're buying four things instead of maybe just one or two. So you're going to sweeten the deal and you're going to make that regular price of 300. So I'm going to save that. Now I've got a group and the cost is 300 and it actually is going to populate and sell these four things. So what happens at the checkout when we head to make a sale? And I'm going to type in foot, and we're going to get the football season bundle. I'm going to click on that. It's actually going to populate all of those items here with the quantities, and it's going to come up to my subtotal of 300 instead of the original price. Wonderful, huh? So when you sell this to somebody, it's actually going to deduct all of these things out of your inventory quantities. And so at the end of the day, you sold a bundle, but what really happened behind the scenes was it deducted a football, it deducted a shoulder pad, and it deducted a cleats, uh, a set of cleats from my inventory numbers. So my inventory numbers will be great. All right, so I think that gives you a picture of how groups work. I'm glad that you came along for this little adventure with me.